I'm gonna choose blue because I just want the blue. I love the blue. I love blue. Leave that one hanging. Oh, this one looks pretty good. This one looks beautiful. Okay, I want this one to be blue. Hello. Xylem tissues transport water and minerals through once living, now hollow connected tubes called trachets. Water and food coloring travels to the petals and other Parts of the flower. Car nation. Car nation. Car nation. Car nation. Car nation math. One, two, three, four. How, How much many blue, blue carnations? Is 
two. Two minus one equals one. One minus one equals zero. beautiful white flowers they have they have five petals on them the nice white One, and two, three, four, and yeah the pretty white the middle part is the reproductive part the outside is the so the bees get I attracted like from the petals as well the more colorful that means the that means they need up pollen is in them and that helps the eggs fertilize in the plant. Yeah, let's go look for some more. Guys, look at that bunch of bunch of flowers. These ones have little petals, and the petals are kind of shaped like a vase, kind of. And I think that the little like the nectar and the pollen is inside. Them. They're called clover because they are. Uh, Pollen fertilizes the eggs. Let's go! Hey guys, we found a dandelion, which has a lot of bugs in it, because I think the bugs are trying to drink the pollen. Some people think that dandelions are weeds, but the but some people think they're flowers. I think it's a flower. Marcus, what do you think it is? It's a flower. And also, I see another flower right over here. It's a yellow one. It's so pretty. No, so it's the a yellow. Candy. I think I already told you this, but I'll tell you again. The, the color on the petals attracts bees to come get its pollen so it can fertilize the eggs. The bees go to the flower to get nectar and when the bees are at the nectar, it mixes up the pollen, the pollen to fertilize the eggs. They go to the hive and make honey. Yeah, I like honey. We found some daisies. So there's lots of bugs on them. I don't know why. The daisies, there's a lot of them. Look how many there are. Look at it. Two, four, six, eight, ten, no. twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. Let's go look for some more. I see some purple ones over there. They're so close. Oh my god. These ones are purple ones. These ones are very, very pretty. That attracts lots of bees to come, pollinators that come to pollinate the flower. What about these ones? Oh my god, that was, those ones are that one. They just look like they're spiky. They're spiky, so, they're spiky, so predators like the deer don't eat it. Let's go look for some more. Here's another one, guys. It's a nice yellow one. Lots of, lot of, there's a, there's a lot of petals. How much do you see? I what think if what? I would have to guess, they would be 12, 20. They're pretty. flowering plants reproduce. Blah, blah, blah. Pollen sticks to the pollinator and gets transported to the next flower. Anther, filament. Stamen is the male part. 
the anther produces and holds the pollen, while the filament holds the anther. Stigma, style, ovary, ovule. The pistil, the female part, includes the stigma, which is a sticky part that holds the pollen. The style is the stalk the pollen tube grows down. The ovary develops the ovules and eggs. The ovules and eggs may develop into seeds or seeds with fruit. When a pollinator arrives at a different flower, some of the pollen that it's carrying may get stuck to the stigma. The pollen then can grow a pollen tube which grows down the style and enters the ovary. It then releases sperm which swim down and fertilize the ovules. The ovules may develop into seeds or seeds with fruit into future plants. Japanese fish! Mogi, do you want to go ring the gong now? What's the ring the gong? The gong! Who's yours? I wish I could have one. Do tell it! I wish I could have one. Yeah. Let's go ring the gong now. The flowers are very, very pretty. I don't know what they are though. Guys, guys, let's go, let's go. And they smell even better. It's frogs, fishies. I mean, there's frogs. This is a map. Oh. We're gonna go bring the gong, and the gong is over here. Thank you. 
went through a maze. It was very fun. I'm the food cup with my hands cut. It's a big tropical place. We're a greenhouse now. We're going to drop the boat right there. There's butterflies. Look right there, right there, everywhere. I see them on the way. Is it where the butterflies drink? Oh. See, that's how much water. Butterflies. Isn't it hot in here? There's lots of them. I just saw them on the wall. Come on, guys. Where's Abby? Abby. Where's Abby? Abby, come back. a dead butterfly. So sad though. But now I can get a close up on it. And they live for a little bit to pollen flowers to butterflies and also to mate so they can so the female can lay the eggs and then they die and then new ones. Start a new life. It's the pitcher plant. So they cut it so you can see the inside. There's supposed to be a liquid in here so then the flies go in for for shelter and then and then they get trapped and then they drown and then pitcher plant eats Five? No, I'm thinking. I'm thinking that one. Is I'm that thinking that one because there's no blue on the top. See, there's no blue, but it looks like it. Yeah, I think we found our one. Oh, a butterfly! Abby, a butterfly! Oh, Abby, another one! I found one. He's not flying. It's stuck. Ooh, cool. Look, that's a yellow one. Let's see if that one got. Which, which one is that one? That one has yellow, pink and white. And that one's yellow and stripe. I think, well, we can't find it on here. I think that would be that one. Because it has yellow, and it's pink, and it's black. It's important not to touch it. Watching the show. How do you watch this? So much pollen though.